about you. It's rhyming. Okay. Today is Monday, the second of November. Now time flies. We even got our Christmas lights up. Hi, everybody. Quote number twenty-five. Guess what happens on quote twenty-six? Every thirteen quotes, we check your quotes for three points. You got mine. Make the best use of your time despite the difficulties of these days. Quote number 25. And we have some difficulties, don't we? And you have to put up with me and my. All right. Today, we're going to start chapter 9. I have received this morning, and I want people out there, some people got their assignment in, and just, so this doesn't pertain to you. Some people still don't have it in. Get them in as soon as you can. I just, when I saw them this morning, I didn't have time to put them on so you could check. So, keep that in mind. I didn't forget. I'll do that today, though. Okay, and I'd like to remind you about your midterm paper. It's due this Friday, and it has to be submitted again on Populi side, the Poppy B, how would you like to say it? Some people say it one way. Um, it, you're not going to be able to send it to me unless it's dire need, really emergency, to uh, text to me or fax it to me. You need to put it on the site or give it to me in class or you tell me that you dropped it off in my mailbox personally came to the school and it's already finished. Uh, I've only had two people ask to <coughs> clarify a couple things. I assume all seven of you here today are all okay with what the copy is. I think, uh, about how much information that you need. Uh, don't be afraid to expand on on the person or some of the things they did in American history. Uh, or pick circle and expand and you have plenty of room to write your four pages. So. Okay, and don't forget reject a little bit of your own personal feelings about the time and the air. It's okay. All right, uh, chapter nine is, and uh, you should have it titled in your notes like this, because I'm going to give you, all of you, even online, some terms that I want you uh, to give back to me. So uh, the example I used already uh, before we started the tape is I may call up some somebody that's in class and then they will tell the people on the video. The example I use, and this will be, if you want to put this down as a first question, go ahead. Uh, tell me or list the four major booms in transportation. Okay, uh, there are four of them and it happens to be first of many, but the, the example would be, I would say, okay, Cody, tell the class, you don't know when you're going to get called upon in class to report to the video. You people in video land will need to do them all and submit them all on your own, back to me like you have been. List the four major booms in transportation. And the first one we talked about before the camera got started was woo woo railroads. Okay, well, I'm not going to give you any more, but there are four of them, and all four of these lead to big, big uh, movements and change in society and how we evolved our American society and culture. And it's right in the textbook. So. Okay. So one more time, that's the first question. List the four major booms in transportation. Two. Explain the Monroe Doctrine. 
M-O-N-R-O-E, Monroe Doctrine. Doesn't have to be 10 pages long, just what was it, what is it, what did it do? Number two, explain or tell the class what the Monroe Doctrine was. Number three, What is the Adams Onus? Oh, there's a hyphen there. O N I S treaty. If you need a date, it was 1819. But what was what? What did that treaty do? Adams Onus Treaty of 1819. Remember, this is uh, all out of Chapter Nine: Nation Building and Nationalism. I don't know if I said that. Chapter 9. Number 4. This came out of Chapter 8, but it's repeated in 9. So you may have to just turn back a couple pages. List or give me the name of the five major territories of expansion. The five major territories of expansion. And that map, just to be nice to you, I think was back at the beginning of chapter 8 on page 103. There's five territories. Just name or list them for the class if you get so lucky to get that. Can you say that question one more time? List, list the five major territories of expansion. Those are they're named for you right off that map. You just need to write them down. Case Mariana gets that question. Number five. Explain the Missouri Compromise. Number five, explain the Missouri Compromise. This one you may have to search for, but it's there. Number six, what was the name of America's first built canal? What was the name of America's first built canal? You don't have to explain anything, just what is its name? tribes at this time in history. We're looking what in the 1820s. There were five major Native American tribes. And they're situated throughout geographically, but you'll see them. You don't have to say anything about them, just listen. We'll do that later. What number was that one? Seven. Seven. By the way, wait, nice red glasses. Thank you. Just a few more. Ten more, actually. Okay, this one's going to take a little bit, but not a whole lot. Explain 
Sugar 8, explain Henry Clay's American system. It was a proposal he gave. It's a system. The textbook uses the word system. Number eight, explain Henry Clay's American system. Number nine, what was, or explain, what was the error of good Now this is kind of a, this is the last question, number 10. And it's the name of a company. But we'll talk about what, why it was so important. What company founded Cotton Mill at Waltham, Waltham is spelled Walt, W-A-L-T-H-A-M, Massachusetts. This sounds like a funny question. What company founded Cotton Mill at Waltham, Massachusetts? What company? Just the name of a company. And then when we get to that, we'll be. It has a significance to American history. Those are the 10 things that you need to turn in Wednesday. And then the people here in class will be so nice, and I probably will add to it, give you the answers, or see if you have the answers. That means you people out there in TV video land need to have them submitted to me before class starts. So I know that you are not copying them and then turning them in later today, uh, Wednesday or Thursday morning. So that's the direction that you need to go. Okay. Any questions on that? So you're going to spend uh, the time here in class doing that, and hopefully. You'll be all ready for Wednesday, and then we can begin Chapter 9, and you already will have some ideas and things that's happening. Okay, I thank you very much, and we are signing off, and don't forget, if you didn't do it, there's the quote, and you don't have much time. Take a picture. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.